Today, we're going to talk about how to add multiple time zones to your Outlook calendar. This feature has been available for quite some time in the desktop app, but it's relatively new to the web application. Your time zone is always running down the side of your calendar, so you know when you're scheduling your meeting. But you may have clients or coworkers who are in different time zones, so you can set that up on your calendar. We're going to scroll to the right hand side of the screen and select settings. And then scroll down and go to view all Outlook settings. And then the settings dialog box will open and you need to make sure that you're on calendar and view. And then scroll down to the time zone section. By default, only your time zone will show up. And here you can add a label. Next, I will click on add time zone. In the search for city box, you can type in the city that you're looking for. And just to keep everything organized, I suggest that you add a label for your additional time zone as well. I am going to quickly add some additional time zones. And while I do that, one thing I'd like to share with you is I've noticed that in some environments, the search box for the time zone does not work. So what you have to do is click the drop down and scroll through the list of time zones until you find the one you want. We will click save to accept these changes and close the settings dialog box. Now I'm back at my calendar and you can see on the left hand side of the screen, I have four different time zones. Even though it can be a little hard to see, one of the things that is useful is the time zone area has a little bit of shading associated with it. The areas that are white represent the times that everybody is within the working hours and the area that is gray means that somebody is outside the working hours. So for example, if I wanted to schedule a 10 a.m. meeting in DC, that's not great for Seattle because it's only 7 a.m. there. It might be better if I schedule my meeting at 11 a.m. because now everybody is at work. If I want to modify or remove a time zone, I can click in the box, select time zones, and then select edit time zones, which will take me back to the settings page. Now all I have to do is click the trash can icon to remove any time zone that I no longer want. Then I will click save and go right back to my calendar. And for that trust but verify moment, now you can see there's only three time zones here. The next thing that you need to know is that if you go to the view on your calendar, if you select the month view, then the time zones are going to disappear simply because of the layout that Outlook uses when you're in the month view. There's not enough space for the time zones. So what you have to do is be in week view, day view, or work week view. Now we're going to take a look at how to set up multiple time zones in the Outlook desktop app. Click on file and then navigate to the bottom of this pane and select options. A floating dialog box will open and then you will select calendar. Scroll down to find time zones. And by default, you will have your time zone selected and the option for two additional time zones will be available. The time zone box is not searchable like it is in the Outlook web application. So you will have to click the drop down and just scroll through the different time zones until you find the one that you want. When you are done, click OK. Go to the calendar icon on the left hand navigation menu and you can see that you have three time zones in the desktop app. If you look at the arrange section in the toolbar at the top of the calendar, you will see day, work week, week, and month. Just like the web app, if you switch the view to a month view, you won't see the times running down the side. If you switch to the schedule view, the times will go to the top of the page. Otherwise, if you select day, work week, or week, you'll see your time zones on the side. I hope you found this quick tutorial useful and if you did, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.